I'm just Surya. I've entered a CA Master Program in Splink. So this is my project called uh, Modeling and Rendering of uh, Royal Enfield Classic 350 using SolidWorks. Mm. So here's the website. The main purpose of doing this project is uh, to model the complex parts of Royal Enfield Classic 50 so that my modeling knowledge is improved and to assemble the parts uh, so as close as possible with the real one, uh, both in dimension wise and appearance wise. And to put myself in a way to model the parts uh, with minimal, with using minimal amount of features and uh, uh, increasing the modeling speed, and to perform the rendering process so that uh, so that we can create a photorealistic image of the model. So introduction to Royal Enfield. So uh, uh, in 1886, uh, the people called uh, Albert Eddy and uh, Robert Walker Smith they started a bicycle company. So at first it was a uh, it was a bicycle manufacturing company, uh, and then they started an engine with that, and then, then they started a bike. So the first bike uh, was launched at 1901. So and uh, it played a major role in World War One and World War Two. So at, in 1955, it just uh, linked with uh, India uh, and named as a uh, Enfield of India at Chennai, and they started making uh, 350cc Royal Enfield bullets. So the spec of uh, Classic 350. Um, uh, it, it has an engine type of single cylinder and four stroke uh, twin spoke air cooled uh, engine. Um, and it has a curb weight of uh, 992 uh, to 195 kg. So it, it comes under a BSX norm. Um, so these are the dimensions I have followed like a wheelbase, uh, ground clearance, and uh, the length and width of the bike. So the parts that have a model or uh, engine chases, uh, chain sprocket. Front fender, rear fender, battery, battery box, tool box, and the, the those things. Uh, front wheel, rear wheel, uh, fuel tank, seat, front fork, headlights, indicator, suspension, side stands, and the uh, gear pedal, and the uh, kickers. So modeling process that I have followed is a, a completely uh, top-down approach. Yeah, uh, like uh, I just uh, taken uh, the sketches from the net, and I just uh, I, I had a, a specifications of uh, all the parts. The dimensions but uh, and they just started uh, making the model and uh, and just assembled that part so during assembling uh, in order to get out get no interference uh, with the parts and just made uh, some uh, uh, adjustments with the dimensions and they just made it done and i just rendered uh, finally so these are the rendered images that i have uh, done <laughs> so these are the reference images that i have followed and then and some course videos. So project scope uh, in future, I just plan to model like a rear seat, brake pedal, center stands and the speedometers, uh, mufflers, uh, safety brakes and rear suspensions. Yeah. So conclusion is, um, uh, at this point I have to tell you that uh, uh, when I was doing the course time, uh, I just uh, used to think like uh, um, how, how they model the component, how they design the component which I see. So I just think like uh, that, and uh, uh, during that time I felt somewhat difficult. So, so during uh, after doing these projects and uh, the course, and I just uh, come over these difficulties, and I just uh, made uh, some improvement in my skills. Here is my model. Um. Like a, I just made some uh, supports, like uh, the battery battery boxes, the tool boxes, tool boxes, and uh, uh, the front wheels and the, and the real one. The, the chain sprocket assembly. I just made this as a working model. So here is my uh, final model.
actually uh, some uh, mistakes are there like uh, i just can't able to uh, make the working model in the main assembly itself so i just can uh, make uh, working in the sub assembly right the things which i done in uh, main assembly that thing uh, like a uh, which i am doing uh, which i have done a uh, working as a main assembly that is working here so that's my model Finally, thank you.